Hi, I'm Steven. And I'm Steve. And this is Cherry Knoll Whiskey Reviews. Today, we're doing a, another weeded bourbon, oh, yeah. which uh, we both seem to like the last one quite a bit. I was very impressed. Today, we're doing Weller Special Reserve. So, in some areas, this bottle sits on the shelf and no one buys it. In our area, I've maybe seen it twice or three times hmm. in the past three years. Is that just all due to the Blanton's hype? Or not Blanton, the, uh, the Buffalo, Buffalo Trace, Trace hype. People just buy it because it's Buffalo Trace. Pretty much. So, okay. Yeah. So, uh, how, uh, what, is, what does this bottle go for around us? So when you find it at the appropriate price, it's about twenty-five to thirty dollars, yeah, right? Which is what I'm willing to spend on a bottle yeah. of Weller Special Reserve, at least. Uh, but secondary, I've seen it for one hundred to one thirty. <laughs> so they're literally making a hundred and ten dollars over MSRP on the most base. Weller. Yeah, we'll see if it's uh, worth it or if it's just complete nonsense. I, I, guess. I, I don't think this bottle will ever be worth $130. Uh, from what I've heard, I actually have not tried Weller Special So you can't Reserve, say anything. But from what I've heard, it, it's worth the $30, the $30 yeah. max. So yeah. I guess we're about to find out. Yeah. We could be pleasantly shocked. We could. It could become our number one whiskey. I hope not. It's hard <laughs> to find. Ooh, the lefty pour. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I've actually been able to find more bottles of foolproof than I have. That's the blue one, right? Yeah. Which, you know, they're around our area, they're still overpriced, mm -hmm. and the secondary on those is like 200 to 250 Man, that's crazy. And that is 100% just Buffalo Trace hype. Yeah, yeah. This is very similar to yes. the kosher. Yep. Yeah, still Buffalo Trace, it's actually slightly lower in proof. Yep. But same, same exact. Yeah, same like red berry, a yep, yep. little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla, some like <clears throat> weeded grain. Yeah. And then sweet corn. And then the tail end. Tiniest little bit of barrel. Right. Tiny little bit. Next to nothing, though. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm curious if. This is going to taste exactly the same I was, as I was gonna the say, I, kosher. I have a feeling these two videos are going to be very similar videos. Right. But. I mean, it smells good. It, um, yeah, I mean, I, I loved the other one, so this is, this is right up in. there. Yeah, me too. It's not, like, it's still smooth. But it's not as smooth. There's so yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. <clears throat> like I would say that this is a younger version of <clears throat> that. Like flavors are almost identical. Yeah. You get vanilla, red berry, light, sweet type flavors, it's and definitely notes. an easy drinker. Right. But it's got youth to it. Yeah. Yep little bit little bit more of a more of an alcohol punch to it right and considering that's a lower proof you wouldn't expect it no uh, <clears throat> but uh maybe a little bit more corn sweetness mm -hmm. it, it hasn't fully transformed into that vanilla 
flavoring. Yeah, there, still there's get more the red berry, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit more mixed with like a a corn syrup. There's more of like for me at least. There's more of like a dry a, a dry feeling in my mouth after this one. I don't know what that would be. Oils. I, yeah, I, I guess. I a guess. higher oil, which is odd because I would have expected higher oil from an yeah. older or higher proof. Yeah, I, th I think as far as flavor goes, I think it's a, there's just a little more barrel on this one. More than, barrel? I think so. No, I don't think more barrel. Really? Yeah. It's got more spice to it, but it's not barrel spice. It's like a youth spice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it just needs more time. Right. Like, it's good. I If I was finding these in our area all the time on the shelf, I'd probably always have one yeah. and a backup. Right. But <clears throat> is it worth $100? No. I don't Definitely so. not. Definitely not. I mean, I'm not even willing to pay $100 for Elmer T. Lee, and I think that's <laughs> a slightly better bottle. Yeah, Granted, I would, I would definitely say Granted, it's a different so. mash bill, different flavor profiles. Right. And everything, but... Yeah, no, I, I like <clears throat> it. I feel I feel like there's just not much to say about it. Yeah, you know? it's very, just... very basic wheat bourbon. I'm assuming at the end of the Wellers, we're going to do a blind with all of them. Yep. I'm yeah. excited. I'm, uh, I'm probably yeah, I'm, the I'm entire to see Buffalo that. Trace line. Yeah. So yeah. we'll do like the kosher, the green label, red label, maybe the black label. Probably. So 12 What's year, 107. Label? Oh, 12 year. Special reserve, kosher. Not foolproof? No, I think the foolproof would just stand out too yeah. much. Uh, is there a weeded Blanton's, or am I making no. that up? No, no I think I Blanton's is Mash Bill 2. Okay. I could be wrong on that, <clears> though. It might be Mash Bill 1. Just a decent weeded bourbon. Yeah. It's, uh... It is what it is. Yeah. There's just... Not much more to say about it, right. especially off the heels of the kosher. Uh, kosher's one step higher than this. Yeah, I uh, agree. Should have done this one first. We should have. We should have started <laughs> with the special reserve so that the kosher was like a, oh, okay, Whoa. this is this is a step up. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see where the 12-year and the 107 play into that to yeah. see if the kosher is in between the 12 year and the special reserve like i think it's going to be right but we'll have we to see find out right tune in so right stay tuned for those thanks for watching make sure to like comment subscribe catch you on the next one <laughs>